Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Windows operating system allows you to connect different playback devices to your PC and different audio hardware to your PC, which enables you to use different audio playback devices to be able to listen to audio. So in this uh, video, we're going to have a quick look at how you can actually select a default audio playback device using Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now it goes without saying that the quickest way to get to your sound properties and your sound options would be just to head to the speaker icon in your system tray where you will have access to your different sound options and your sound properties. I found though that um, a quicker and a more convenient way basically just to get the job done to be able to set up a default audio playback device is actually to alternatively head over to the legacy control panel in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if you don't know where the control panel is, just do a search for control panel. Head over to the sound, uh, the sound options in the control panel and select the sound menu. Now here you can see in my case, I have three audio playback devices connected to my Windows 11 laptop. Now in my example, Windows has selected my headphone as my default device. And the reason for that is because I'm currently using it for uh, the recording of the audio for the purposes of this video. Now, if I decided to disconnect the headphone from my device, which I'm not gonna do because it crashes the recording, but if I did, um, in my example, Windows would then select my, D my um, laptop speakers as my default audio device. Now, as you can see, I have a third option available. Digital Audio HDMI. So if Windows does select my laptop speakers, if I do decide to disconnect my headphone, and if I don't want Windows to use my laptop speakers as my default audio playback device, then I can actually tell the operating system which audio playback device to use by default. So I can click on the digital audio as an example, and then I just select set as default. And the next time, any audio configurations take place, um, the operating system will select that device, as in this example, my digital audio HDMI playback device, as my default audio driver and my default audio playback device. Now, this is especially handy um, using the sound um, menu and the sound properties. As an example, if you are trying to um, find out a, the reason why different audio playback devices um, are not playing audio. So as an example, if you connect a headphone or a set of speakers to a certain device and you're not getting any audio, you can come over to the sound menu as shown and you can find that relevant device and that relevant hardware and you can just click on that and then set it as the default and that should solve that problem. Now on a side note, here we can see um, that I can select a playback device below and also modify its settings. So on a side note, in case you're unaware, if you click on a, a different um, um, audio device. You can see here in the bottom right we have properties and if I click on that I can actually adjust some uh, different settings pertaining to that audio hardware. So I can adjust the levels, my balance, I can set the default format, I can test that, I have some other options available and then I can also adjust the spatial sound. Now I know you can do that in most cases um, a lot quicker from the uh, sound menu if you click on the sound icon from the system tray but um, if you do find yourself in the um, sound menu in the control panel just to let you know that you can also um, you can also configure the different audio configurations for specific audio playback devices directly from the legacy control panel using the sound menu so that's just a quick video as to how you can set up a default audio device and use that audio device for uh, listening to audio using Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.